When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. Ciao and welcome back to Pasta Amore, Pasta with Love. I'm Chef Joe Melli, and today on Pasta Amore, we're going to be doing something completely different. We are flipping it on its ear. Yes. And as you can see, I'm not alone today. <laughs> Uh, I've got a bevy of beautiful <laughs> women here, and uh, thank you to Lorene for oh. opening up her home Come so on, that we see? could come and do this video today. Yes. And then we have Lori and Debbie and Dolores. Dolores. Hi, Dolores. I'm hey, Ann. Dolores. And That's the matriarch. <laughs> oh. All right. We thought it would be cool to actually show you what happens in an actual pasta mode class. So we are having a pasta making class tonight. And one thing that you're probably going to find out is it's not going to be boring. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't like We boring. like to have fun <laughs> on these. So if you like to have fun, um, then sure. tune in, sign up for a class, and we can do this at your house. Oh, as well. yeah. That okay. Would be good. So, ladies, Welcome. Thank you. Are you I'm ready? so excited. Okay. Yeah, what are we making? What are we making? All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good place to start. All right. So, um, I chose some basic pasta, but nonetheless, very, very uh, uh, appetizing mm. and very delicious. So, just because Fan it's favorite. basic does not mean it's, it's not awesome. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to make some fresh pasta, <laughs> and we're going to be starting with. We're going to make two kinds of pasta. Oh, good. Two flavors, we I should say. Oh, good. All right, we're going to do spinach and we're going to do egg. Ooh. All right, and then we're going to combine them together. Spinach and egg together, like well, for one pasta? No, 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 oh. no. Oh. We're going to make uh, pappardelle noodles, okay. which is the very wide yes. uh, flat noodle. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do both of those, but we're going to cook them together. So oh, you okay. get the effect of so what's called pagatieno. Oh. Straw yeah. and hay pasta. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. All right, good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. That's a nice word. You like that? How, how did I do? <laughs> Let me. Yeah. Grazie, grazie, signorina, signora. And pagliatelle. Okay. Are there peas in that usually? No, pagliatelle is only the pasta. It's just that's uh, the there white, are many green and white, green and white. Sauce. Green yes. and white. I yeah. know. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I know a thing. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, All right. I hope, wait, I hope you can get a word in. Yeah, I hope you can get I can't wait for that. Bolognese, this was taught to me by my mentor who is uh, from northern Italy, and um, it's one of my favorite sauces oh, to make. So that's I why wait. I chose it. But we're going to be using durum flour. Oh, okay. I'm going to take a peek at this. So, uh, most people, that, when they make pasta, they use old-fashioned, <laughs> all-purpose white flour. Yeah. That's great. So did my mother. She still uses it, okay? Uh, I used to have a business. Uh, I used to make pasta, sell it to restaurants. Sell it to, so I, I did a lot of research, and I came up with you like this. You like this one? I love Durham, See? extra fancy Durham wheat flour. See how gold Wait, it is? did you just say extra fancy? That's, that's uh, what it's called. All right, I got to get all this Extra fancy here. Durham wheat flour. We have it all written down. Is this in any grocery uh, store? Here's the problema. Okay. Oh, you can't okay. Oh, you can get this all day long, <laughs> semolina. Yes. Okay, which is grainy. grainy it's like a fine yes. cornmeal. Yeah. If you take this and you mill it to a flour, you get yeah. this. Okay. Ah. Same grain. Oh, same, grain. same exact grain. Oh, very same nice. Same color. Uh, the difference is oh, yeah. when you make pasta straight up with semolina, it's very grainy. The oh, texture yeah, is no, off. No. So if if I don't have this, what I tell people is half of this, half white flour five eggs and you're done, okay? Really cool. So this is very I cool. Like uh, that. It comes out golden and it has a little bit of chew to it. It has a little bit of flavor like as well. Yeah. It, it, it holds up much better than it's white flour. It's not your standard. No, it isn't. It's a little so I'm doing my part. Okay. I've been doing my I part for 20 years trying to get the American public to demand from their grocery store to sell Durham wheat okay, flour. Okay, I'll get on that as it well. It hasn't <laughs> happening. I get it at Restaurant I'm Depot. Like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Go there. We go there. Okay, okay. well, there you go. Oh. You can get it in Italian specialty shops? You can get yeah. it at a place that makes pasta. Oh, if you go okay. to, like, the Fino's or you okay, go yeah. to any of the pasta Fiori, stores, yeah. the Fiori's, yeah. gotcha. and they will have gotcha. Durham flour. I don't know if they right. sell it to you, yeah. but they have it. We'll have to go in the back. Yeah, uh, go in the back. <laughs> in the back of the room. A pound of Durham and five eggs. Ooh, Two okay. ingredients. One pound, five eggs. Oh. Can't go wrong. No salt, no water, no oil. Really? No salt? Salt, I don't put it in <laughs> because... Goes, what? <laughs> okay, so Say this what? is why I don't put salt. Because <laughs> Italians, when they cook pasta, they cook it like they're cooking it in seawater. 
that's your opportunity to, to flavor salt the, the pasta. pasta. I agree. So I don't want to double right, salt right. it. Right. So I, I just say, I just keep it simple. Okay. Five wow, eggs and a pound of down. Because you gotta, you got to season your water. Right. So there's no sense in, in doubling it up. Makes sense. And then the oil, I don't personally like the no. texture when you put olive oil in no. pasta dough. I don't know that so I've ever seen anyone so put Italian oil in don't put oil. No. Thank you. Grazie, grazie. Oh. Thank you. Okay, one pound. All right. Give me that. Okay. Give me that. Okay. You got that. And then. Now what right. do you have to do? Just Five crack eggs. them right in there? Yeah. Want me to help you? Go ahead. Oh, that's all right. Come on. A little right. shell ain't going to kill you. Well, you know what I find Settle when I crack them? I'll tell you why I don't. Settle down. Yeah, relax. Okay. I'll tell you why I don't. Piano piano. Piano piano. Oh, Nunu would have said that. Um, piano piano. Nunu. I don't crack my eggs into a bowl because I leave, end up leaving some egg in there. I don't get it all in oh, here. Oh, gotcha. So I three, want all the eggs. Three. Four. Four. We want to make sure we do this right. One more. That's it. Chingue. Boom. There we go. All right. Let go. Oh, forget on forget high. about it. On high, mind you. Okay. All right. I'm not pulsing. I'm just going to let that wow. go. Yeah, so. I feel like I could do this already. So I have found that um, if I've made my measurements correct, if I screw up that, that uh, weighing, or here's the other thing, another very important detail. Or you put it on low, so no, you start it up. Start it up. Just till it comes together. Okay. All right. Um, so I couldn't hear you. It has to be five <laughs> eggs, large. Large, right? If the size of the egg makes a difference. If it's extra large, it's screwing up your ratio. Jumbo, no good. If it's small, so precise. Five eggs, five large, large eggs, and a pound of durum. Five large eggs. That's huge. Right. And that's true for baking as well. Like yep. Yeah. All recipes are geared for you large eggs. You have to know. I hate when you have the jumbo eggs, the large eggs, no. the small eggs. This doesn't make any sense. All right. Look how nice and clean. Nice and nice. Right. So we're just going to dump that out. Now, God, I'm not going to clean this. Time for my food processor. I'm not going to clean this because it's we're going to make the spinach dough <laughs> right that. in here. I'm hearing a little. Again, all get right. that back. So all I do now <laughs> is just knit right. this together. Oh. Yep. Let's pick it all up. <laughs> we don't like any waste around here. And do you have a little uh, plastic wrap? Yes, I do. Possibly. Right, right uh, where you're standing. Because uh, now right I'm going to just bring this together. Keep going. Uh, thank you, Lori. Uh -huh. So if you were to try to do this. Now, how long does this a, have to rest? Uh, about 20 minutes oh. or so. So um, now what you have oh, here. Look how feel nice that, that it. Oh. Feel it. Oh. How much pasta is this? This is uh, about 24 pounds and a half. Pound and a half. You figure five look eggs and a pound of. Oh, my God. I think I could have been making this this whole Are you time. Wrap this. I've been yeah, I just wanted you to feel. <laughs> right? Well, no. Listen, no, listen. Kidding. Dry pasta has its place. I like dry pasta. It depends on what I'm making. Yes. Either pasta fresca I use for filled pastas sauces. or for you know tagliarini or, or things that I need fresh pasta for. Is um, <laughs> it's dense. It's yeah. it's nice. I love that. My my that. my go-to is barilla. Okay. Some people is like DiCecco. Yeah, that's nice. I used to like DiCecco until Barilla came out. Oh, okay. no. And then no, I, no. I, I, a, I even wrote them letters. No, I... Telling I, them how good I liked her. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm weird like that. Okay. <laughs> so, that's the run of rest. All right. All right. Now, we're going to go to the spinach. All right. Okay. All right. The ratio was a pound we of durum and five eggs. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now, we're doing spinach pasta. Spinach has 90% water. water. Oh. So if I put this in here, I have to up the flour. I have to yeah, decrease the eggs. Gotcha. gotcha. So I got a how much? Pound and a half. Pound and a half. So durum. pound of the first time, pound and a half for the second. All right. All right. But the same flour. Same flour. But and that can go right. I always do my egg first because I can put it, the spinach right over that one. It's not going to be compromised. All right. So now I need to get in here. You now you got to put that people, in there. Yeah. When people make spinach dough. A lot of people go and cook the spinach. Oh, first. that's all that water comes out. Well, oh, no. Uh, no, no. not only the water, but what else comes Wilted. out when you cook it? The, uh, the, the flavor, the, flavor, the, the vitamins, the mineral, all the nutrients down the drain. I know. Are you putting all this in there? Um, <laughs> so I'm like stuffing this thing to. All right, that's good. That's right. good. It's about six ounces of spinach. Well, Medium, okay. or you want to put this on no, low? No, just crank it up. On high? Crank it up, let it go. Until, yeah, yeah give it a shake. 
until I get a green flower. That's okay. Alrighty. Now, you're going to end up, we're going to end up with uh, a lot more dough then because we increased the everything. flour <laughs> and we added well, the spinach. Less eggs though, right? What's that? Less eggs. And only three eggs. Only right? three eggs. So well, a lot the of this. spinach has all the water in it. That's yes, what you were talking does. about. I love this. I'll get that. And look at the, the, the deep color. The <laughs> other reason I don't cook the spinach is um, just like a green vegetable, when it hits boiling salted water, mm -hmm. the color pops. Oh, yeah. And, then right? it, and then the then color it, sets. And yeah. you get this beautiful bright green yeah. color instead of well, that well, drab well, army yeah, green yeah, yeah, when you yeah. see oh, yeah. a lot of spinach oh, yeah. pastas. Are you done with this? Uh, we'll need it for the bolognese, oh, but we're done with it oh, for no. now. I'm going to rinse it out. Look at this. <laughs> wow, we are crafty here. All right. All right, clean up the snap. All righty. And then we have. Um, this is different plastic wrap. Yeah, it's. <laughs> 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 I love that stuff. I'm obsessed okay. with that. All right, so we're going to put this here. Now, I'm going to start rolling out just one piece of this. You guys are going to then pick it up. Okay. okay. All right. So. I know me too. Yeah, I love this board. I'm going to cut this into fours. Okay. 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 And I'm going to keep the others wrapped up so that it doesn't dry out while we're... Very good. Okay. So then I'm going to get... And ideally, little, how long should that sit? Like I said, 20 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Oh, good. So it's not like an... All right. So um, I take a quarter of this because you don't want to tax the machine no. by trying to throw the whole thing that would be, through the machine. That would so be I cut it into fours. Not good for this little machine. Right? So a lot of people get a rolling pin. I mean, you don't really... You can do that, but the heel of your hand... <laughs> Oh, you just knock Perfect, it like down. Like a pizza. Kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> and dust it. Yeah. Okay. I like the semolina and bread. I like semolina bread. I love uh -huh. semolina bread. It's like the, they don't. No one makes it anymore. It pisses me off. Like, all right, I'm gonna start to say okay. positives now. All right. But I like so the semolina bread. Now, I what I try to do is optimize the length of the roller. Why would I have a sheet this wide when you got a roller oh, that's six you inches? Make it you wanted at least. Oh, perfect. Right? Right. Good, okay. Good tip. Good tip. So they I want optimize the dough it. as long as the yes, as long as your mm -hmm. rollers. Okay. So um, when I do this, people say, "Well, how fast? As fast as you can handle it." Yeah. My here, mother is the one that turned me on I got you. I got you. Wow. It was too fast for her. Run. She gave it to me, and she still does this. Yeah, she does the crank one. Okay. Oh, wow. So, I start, whoa, get that back here. Oh, my own. My own. It jumped right out of the 10 second roll. <laughs> 10 uh, seconds, like two seconds. All right. So, all right. what I do. Wow, look at okay, that. Okay. In the beginning is I do a fold. Okay. Wait, slow down. I got to see all that. Okay. Let's do slow mo here. Uh, slow mo. Roll. Like a threefold. Wow. Just to finish the kneading process. My machine process. has never seen all this action. Just to finish the kneading right, watch process. Watch out, Gronky. Out. I love it. And I do this until it just gets the nice feel that I'm looking for. Okay. You know what I'm looking for is a leathery Smooth. feel. Really nice leather. If you remember. Not vegan leather. Like my pocket. No, not vegan leather. No. no. Good old cowhide. Yeah, there you go. Like the old straps on the barber chair. Yeah. That kind of smooth, leathery feel. Oh. That's what I'm. I'm all about that. That's what I'm remembering. And then I want to get this nice and even so that when I start rolling out my spolias. Kabish yeah. spolia? Yeah. Ladies? Spolia. Oh, spolia. Spolia is sheet. Spolia. Spolia is a sheet. Gotcha. Okay. There'll oh, be a I quiz like later. This is really good. I'm learning Italian words. S-F-O-G-L-I-A. Spolia. 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 All right. So that's nice. Okay. Nice and nice. Nice and nice. Oh, my God. I say nice all the time in my videos. Right? All right. Nice. So I'm just going to go down gradually. You want to feel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Debbie, you want to feel it? Feel it. Oh, Lauren. easy. Easy over there. Of course. Floors didn't get a feel. All right, so when I do this, this I always see like my students are standing up here. Pretty soon they got to get a chair because I said, "Dude, they're freaking out is what look, they're doing." All you got to do is feed it feed from it here. Yeah. Don't feed it from way up here. <laughs> and don't worry that. about what's happening That's down here either. That's a great tip. The other thing, I spent the moment. 
I'm helping. All right. So when you when you put pasta in here, hang on to it because you can you put pressure on the back side. This stops it from bunching up as it pulls it through. Right. So a lot of times, if your speed's too quick and it grabs it, you pull back on it from here. Like, put ah. tension. See how taut it is going in? Wow, this is, okay. this is coming out beautiful. It is, isn't it? Wow, it's I'm gorgeous. so impressed. I love it. I don't look at numbers because, first of all, I can't see them. Yeah, right? But I go what by feel. feel? Yeah. And I never, ever, I don't think I've ever gone to the last setting on a pasta machine. Okay. I don't want to read the newspaper through it. All right. No. no. So who yeah. reads the newspaper the anymore? Yeah. Fake news. I can't even, I can't even read <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Whose show is this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You made your match here, kid. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right, so oh. this is starting to feel good. Wow. I love it. Okay. This is awesome. This is starting to feel really nice. I love it. This is okay. the first time. One more time? I'm going to put it one more time on the same thickness. Because okay. oh. I think one more notch might be too thin. This is like the first time my little awesome. machine has done this. All right. I'm so excited. So, I'm not worried about that. Can you leave me this? <laughs> <laughs> we can talk. We can talk. Wait, All right, let go. Let go. Let go. I think I have it. Let go. Oh, we're going to have a Louis Vuitton. Oh, we're going to have a kitchen aid. look like. All right, so I'll show you wow, what we do look now. At this. All right, so these are all you guys are going to start this okay, next, the okay. next ones. Okay, so I put it on here, okay, and um, usually what I do is a dust like this. Oh, my heavens. And then I, I, I set this over here, and I pull this out, and I get my trusty, so I'm visualizing. Are you getting this? And I put this on top, and I cut, and I keep going. Oh, wow, you're going really fast. Gabish? Got that, Dolores? <laughs> no, why don't you make it a different length? I, it don't. It, oh, it in, in the, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. you want to get them about 12 so inches. So you're going to cut them this way and get the proper depth. No, I'm got, I got a Papa Deli cutter here, Senora. What? Mira. What? Wow. No way. Way. Whoa. Oh, watch the wine. Watch the wine. Hands are flying. She breaks glasses all the time around here. So we're going to put these aside. <laughs> okay. Let those rest. We're going to finish rolling out these. Okay. Then we're going to switch to the cutter. Okay. And well, then we're going to put them all on this board. Right. We're going to have our green and our white together nice. on this board. We we'll put it somewhere just to let we take it. a little break and then regroup, or we're going to go right in? All right. All right. Fine. Now, Check here's, the thing. here's the thing. Here's the thing. We need to... Uh, we need to organize. Oh, okay. Who, who's going to roll out the pasta? Because then we need to start mise en placing our bolognese. I'll do the bolognese. Okay. They can do the. All right, so. I want to do the. <laughs> so remember, go back to the. You know. Mm -hmm. Right? Lori knows. All right, so we're going to need to. I'm doing the bolognese. Uh, <laughs> Can you, yeah, we'll do. We know what we'll do. We'll take a break and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, Fun. Mira. Mira. Now, what the heck? I worked in Florida for too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spanish, Italian. Mira, Mira. All right. So look, I'm holding it here because it started to grab it and do what it wanted to do. I'm waiting till I'm ready to let go. Okay. All right. So now. Yeah. I'll spend, I'll do a story. Right. So now oh, you just want to do, that. A little, oh, do a little nest. Go uh, cool. see. Oh my right? God. Uh, so when you do that, <laughs> I put you, that vowel on. you feed with one, one hand. All right. Oh, feed with one hand and your left tell, hand. Don't squeeze either. Oh. You just gently okay. grab it, make a nest. I'm the boss of this machine. All right. Oh. You're, Lord, you're always the boss. Who are you kidding? The boss. He's the boss all the time. Look at that. All right, oh, so good job, Lord. Beautiful. Lordy. God, it's done. What if you, you squeeze too much, you, you, it sticks together. How and beautiful it becomes, that is. It's so pretty. Oh, oh nice and nice. Nice and nice. Let me try one. Likes it. All right, tell me what to do. Okay. You hold it? Yeah. No, oh, that's two. That's two. That's two. <laughs> oh, okay. get that one. Get it for the duck. Here, hold it. <laughs> Oh, all right. Through, and then you yeah, grab it. Oh, then oh. Good job. Okay. Let me try it again. Yep. 
Ready? No, put it this way. Oh, this way. Oh my there god. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice and nice. Oh. Little, little. And then what I do is I'll go over and sprinkle oh a little semolina on top, okay? <laughs> Where's my wine? She's, she's whacking me over here. Nobody sees it. It's like whack a mole. <laughs> okay. When you're cooking pasta of any kind, fresh or dry, plenty of water, plenty of salted water, never ever rinse. Pasta. No. Oh. Sacrilege. Always, we, we always yeah. toss pasta Into with the, the sauce. sauce. Never put sauce on top of white pasta. We or, know that. Thank God. Well, I just like to get it out there no. for the masses because they're learning. There's too many bastardizations going on. No, I'm telling the young kids. This, when it comes to we pasta. We tell the young kids all the time. They don't know what they're doing. Never. <laughs> so it's a great tip. And a couple other things. No spoon assist. What's that? That's an American thing. You don't twirl oh. pasta on spoons. Oh, Italy do. does not do that. My grandmother was from Sicily. She they they slurp. They twirl and they slurp. Did I throw this one out? What happened? Well, Semolina, senora. Yeah, I did. Oh, semolina. That on the air? Keep oh. it from sticking. Also. Another rule. I, I love twirling. Another rule. I love twirling. I, don't, I love twirling without the spoon assist. Twirl it, whatever hangs, you slurp. Oh. Never, ever, ever add cheese to a shellfish seafood, yeah. seafood Thank pasta. Thank you. Oh. Wow. She does it all the time. That's gross. I never do that. Yeah. Dolores loves to. You and a, a lot of other Americans That's do great. that. You get arrested in Italy for doing that. Uh, I, I don't play in Naples. In Naples, yeah. Linguini and Bongole, yeah. You gonna put some cheese on that? Oh. The pasta police will like be out. ruining the whole thing. So, Signora, can you hold this? Yes, sir. You got that? I got it. All right. A little carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go. I can right, see. We got the egg. Oh my God, how good does that look? Oh, my own, man. Oh, my gosh. See? My and we already salted the water, folks. You're right? So make sure it's nice and salted like seawater, right? Right. Good? Okay, I need a. You want to toss? I'm going to toss. I got it. Here. Got it? All right. Good to go. Look at the color. Look. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Look at that, oh, look at that look gorgeous at that. color. That's phenomenal. Look at that color. Bright green. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. It's nice. like Christmas. And I love that little uh, addition, that little secret touch to this. I can smell it right oh, now. Mm. That clove coming out. Just a little pinch, you know? Just gives it a little something, something. This is not a meat sauce, no. people. So this is a bolognese, yes, right? A lot different. Mm hmm. Franco American makes meat sauce. That's right. <laughs> See, and that just takes a second. Chef Boyardee. Yeah, yeah. I want that. Well, actually, his name is Chef Boyardee. Boyardee. <laughs> He's actually Italian. He is Italian. Yeah. Boyardee. Was Italian. But it's good. It's not so good. No. <laughs> but he's a zillionaire. Yes. All right, this we're not ready. Funny. Yeah, we're ready. All right, so I'm going to go it? in. Absolutely. Why are the, you in here? The dogs are in here like they're eating. I'm going to go in. A little taste. All dente. Uh, here's another fallacy. <laughs> Fresh pasta cannot be cooked al dente. Oh. Dry pasta al dente. Yes. Okay. Fresh that? pasta, if it's al dente, it's undercooked. Okay. It's chewy doughy. Yeah. Right. Good point. That's a very good well, point. Like it's just, it's uh, like it's just really al dente. Just don't call it that, folks. No. <laughs> so what do you call it, Chef? If, it's if it's cooked perfectly. Day, a little over al dente? No, there is no perfection. There's no, yeah, it's cooked right. It's cooked all right. right. Yeah. So does it like look for the top? Perfecto. Look for the top. When um, you start to melt. Yes, yes, that would be a good and indication. Yeah. Especially like if it's filled like a ravioli, yes. a tortellini. Okay. Bring it to the top, and then it's almost just right. about done. Okay, mm -hmm. so good we're job. ready to go. 
Are you gonna add that? Oh in yeah. There? So now you want to put some in your anchovy yeah, sauce first. Yeah, I do for sure. Can you possibly just, I just bring it over hold that right in front of me? Out. Okay. Yeah, we don't need as much as for that bolognese. So we'll, well, model. We got it. We got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. The Maybe dog. that's what the dogs here yeah, for. Yeah, they they get everything we drop. Model, we got Did it. There we go. More? Oh, yeah, a little bit more. Let's wait. Okay. Mm. One more little scoop. One more little scoop. Because we got it. We got a lot of sauce here. <laughs> All right, good. Perfecto. Now, oh, the long ones. Long one. All right. Okay, the rest is going to go out, go see, right in here. Oh, we're going to make. Oh, that looks good. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Great job. This looks amazing. I'm so, I cannot wait to try this. Need a longer tongs. Long tongs. Here. Switch. Switch. I know. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm -mm -mm. Do we have a bowl ready? Oh yeah, we got the bowl ready. Bowl right. ready. Right behind you. Nice. If there's any leftover, don't worry about it. I'll put it in here. Put it in. Uh, yeah. Let yeah, me put see. It in that. Slide it over. Just slide it a little closer. There we go. I made too much sauce. <laughs> I made too much sauce. There we go. No, it's good. 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 Nice and nice. You, so to you toss that one in the bowl, and then I'll All give you right. if you need it. Beautiful. Wow, excellent. What nice pasta that is, huh? It's so nice. Yeah. All right, well, everything off? Up. Yep. All right, we're going to bring this. I'm going to take a picture of that. Where's my phone? Hold on. Okay, I gotta get a picture of this. This is insane. Okay, insane. It's off the charts. Oh yeah. Well, yes, it's not helping. <laughs> all right, got it. <laughs> all right. I want to say I I rolled all the pasta. Let me move. I don't know. I didn't see that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh huh. Bellissima. Oh. Bellissima. So do you need a little bit of uh, jalapeno ricotta or no? I don't, and, uh, like I told her before, I do it when I'm doing a filled pasta like a ravioli, a lasagna, or a cannelloni. Mm -hmm. But I don't do it with this one. You, you can want, the, you want see, it to that's be a, a meaty. That's optional. That's for everybody. That's, a to that's an optional thing. Meaty but we're going to do this for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. Parmigiano Reggiano. Actually, if I was in the north, I, they don't even know Parmigiano Reggiano. They use Grana Padano. Oh, I love That's that. That's the king of cheeses yes. in the north. Uh, Chef, I will give you a little tip. Yes. You know, um, cebado? The cheese cebado with the little peppercorns? Peppercorns. Try grating that and putting, on, putting that on your pasta. It's amazing. You give it to me and I'll do it. Oh, my God. Done. Really? It's so good. Done. But I, you know what, I'm a farm girl, farm Giano, I'm, you know. Personally, I like Romano. I, I like the salty. Yeah, I'm a Romano, yeah. Locatelli, the sheep milk cheese. I'm just leaving that right in the pan, because we're just, we don't even get fancy. Okay. All right, I want to take an, oh, look how pretty that looks. Do you want to do a little Parmigiano over the, Yes, uh, please. Oh, yes, we need cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> look how nice that looks. Now, how easy was that? Uh, salute. Oh, oh my God. Guys, if you do this class, I can't guarantee oh. you're going to have as much, much fun, fun as we did tonight. <laughs> but, but you know what? We'll all make our own time. That's right. Oh, That's right. We had so much fun. Salute. Bon appetit. Oh, Lydia. Okay. <laughs>